Wake Up World, it's time for the William Malcolm Morning Show, where we encourage you to pursue your dreams and live a life filled with passion and purpose. So turn up your volume and prepare to be inspired. Now, here's your host, William Malcolm. Hello and good morning, Detroit. And no, it is not William Malcolm. It is I, Stephanie Coney, stepping in as I sometimes do. Thank you all so much for tuning in and listening today. I am so excited to introduce our very special guest today. Uh, We go back a very, very, very long way. Uh, Almost 30 years. Good friend of mine, Seneca D. Brookins, and uh, the owner of Jasuda. Welcome, Seneca, and thanks for stopping by. Good morning, Stephanie. Always a pleasure to see you and be back in Detroit. Thank you for having me. Yes, yes, it's always good to be home. No place like home. Seneca, this uh, this is his home, born and raised in Detroit. But he, like myself, uh, migrated over to Atlanta, and uh, you know, uh, he frequents us very, very, very often here. So good to see you, Sen. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about the name of your business. Let's start with that, Seneca. What is the name of your business? The name of my business is Jesudo, and uh, it actually is pretty much our, our our mantra how we do business. So Jesudo means get things done in about three languages. Really? What it's, three languages is that? It's German, Spanish, and English, mm. with the last, the do part in English, uh, J-A-S-U-D-O. Uh, you put it all together, it's get things done. We had it researched by a firm out in Chicago, and uh, they put it together and came up, helped us come up with the uh, with the correct name, and um, that's how we got our name. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So what do you guys do over at Get Things Done over <laughs> at Jesudo? Yes. <laughs> what are you getting done? I am so glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> but Jesudo, we're business IT services, uh, so for the most part, you know, uh, we work with businesses. Uh, we pretty much, they outsource their IT to us. So we're their IT department. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's full end to end service. Um, you know, everywhere from installing, we network and install networks Mm -hmm. in turn, we manage those networks. Uh, and then, uh, we also service. So we have our help desk and that's where, uh, all of our, clients employees they call into us or they send tickets into us and we go ahead and service them for every IT need that they have okay and uh so we function like i said as completely as their um IT department you're so. their go to person yeah. now let me ask this what give me some examples when you say everything IT can you give me some examples of that and and can and when you talk about installation are you talking about physically a hard installation or is this like installation software that's done online? Let, let's talk about that. Absolutely. So we're talking about a full network. We're talking about when you have, when a business uh, can have virtually nothing in place, although most established companies have a network in place. Mm-hmm. But if they do not, we can do a full installation. That installation means that we're running cat six we're installing the server we're running all the lines Mm -hmm. um we're establishing that network and all of those uh connections are going to various computers and workstations printers everything throughout the building so it's really the core of what uh the company operates on so when we talk about installation we do that full installation if a company already has an existing network uh then we're generally coming in maintaining that uh, infrastructure. Mm-hmm. So um, over that time, we're going to be uh, putting in new equipment, mm-hmm. um, maintaining those lines, keeping that network going, because that is essentially the heartbeat of that particular company. Um, and then on the service end, uh, so when you have those, when your computer breaks, mm-hmm. uh, when you can't connect to the network or you're trying to print and you can't print, Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. you have a go-to person. And that's usually when you reach out to us. So uh, our team is in place uh, and we handle tickets. Uh, 
from all of the uh, from all of our clients end users mm -hmm. uh, they just go ahead and submit those tickets into us or call us directly text us uh, and then uh, we go ahead and get them serviced immediately. Wow. So we're on standby. Immediately. Yeah. Th that was going to be my next question is mm -hmm. how accessible are you? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's that's one of the things why I said we're our mantras. Uh, Jesudo can uh, get things how we get things done. Uh, we have a under we we respond to all tickets uh, for in other in under 15 minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah. OK. So okay. absolutely. Getting things done. One of the things that, uh, you know, that can really make a, 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 a bad day for someone is you go into your computer, you log in, and you can't get access to your email. Perhaps you forgot your password or you can't get your email. So uh, we don't want to keep you waiting. Right. At the end of the day, you know, your access to your email is extremely important. You may have an upcoming meeting. You have things that you have to do in your job. So um, our team is always ready on demand um, to handle those calls. And we get them from, like I said, anywhere from resetting emails to okay. um, complete server. I mean, well, to, to server activity, they can't access files. There are all sorts of things that we uh, deal with on an ongoing basis. But um, and that's one of the things that, you know, we we stand to do. It sounds like you pride, you guys pride yourself on getting things done. Absolutely. So let's go. To, let's start at the beginning. So when you uh, first take on a client, I'm assuming this is really relationship building mm -hmm. because you have to find out how that company's uh, technical technical climate is right so to speak um like you know this is what you need um this would make this work better so you're giving them options and then you're probably getting right to the core as well saying okay this is what i recommend but this right here is what you essentially need right now so what does that look like when you meet with a client to even take them on because they have to be very vulnerable and trust trusting towards you obviously to let you into their technical infrastructure of their company. Yes, you are exactly correct. Generally, when we meet with uh, with our clients, uh, we certainly try to, I mean, our relationship comes first because that's basically what it is. We're basically integrating our company into their company. Right. Uh, so their employees are going to know us as the IT department. Mm -hmm. They're not going to know us as Jesudo. Uh, but for the most part, when we uh, interact with our new clients or existing clients, when we're bringing on a, a new client, and um, for the most part, what we're trying to do is understand their business. Mm -hmm. um, every every IT solution should be curated for that specific business. Now, how long typically does that type of introduction or meeting, um, a needs assessment, if you will, how how long does something like that take when you uh, take in you know a new client? Well, it can take, uh, you know, it can take us, you know, from an initial maybe uh, 30 days. Uh, but our initial uh, meeting is just the start. It just depends on how complex the company is. So do you come in physically and kind of take a look, a tour of the way they do things? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. We have to do that. We actually go when our, our typical assessment involves us coming in on site. We actually, uh, after having those initial conversations about the business and, and, and learning the needs of that particular company, our full-time assessment is when we actually go over to workstation to workstation. We're full, wow. Yeah, we go to every single workstation. Okay. Uh, we're looking at their, uh, we're pulling information off of those computers to establish what type of computers do you have, um, you know, what situation are they in, what software are you running. We're looking at the complete infrastructure, whether you have a, a legacy um, server network, what where, where improvements need to come, that sort of thing. Um, and then we talk about the business goals. So the business goals are going to be, mm -hmm. you know, um, like for, for, for us, we try to, we, we have, a we try to steer our, our clients into future proofing their business. Right now we're in that, um, phase where we're talking about cloud. And so, um, for the most part, if they have a legacy network in place, we will, um, put them in a hybrid where they're doing, they're maintaining their business on that 
network the cloud. and then maintaining their business also in the cloud. Wow. But okay. So they'll always have a backup. Absolutely. Okay. Now, do you guys build websites, Seneca? Absolutely. You so, do. <laughs> we started off initially as a web development company. When we really? Were in 2012. Okay. Uh, and then uh, we kind of morphed into uh, managed IT services more so because of our um, success that we had with our help desk. We, when we were okay. servicing our clients for with our the website. With websites. Mm-hmm. It was made us. It helped us to make an easy transition into managed IT. So the light bulb went off after how many years of that? It was seven years. Seven after, years, yeah. and then you realize, you know what? I am the one stop shop for this. <laughs> so absolutely. So how can our small business owners who are listening today and realize that hey, uh, I may need your services? How can they contact you? They can definitely contact us at jasudo dot com. That's J A S U D O dot com uh, and definitely reach out to us there our telephone number six seven eight five eight seven five eight eight four uh, they can definitely reach out to a member of our sales team or myself right can they contact Seneca Brookins Seneca <laughs> D Brookins can they contact you and say hey I heard you on faith talk <laughs> absolutely I hope they do um, and just to let you know uh, you know our target like our target customer is definitely those Although we work with uh, small businesses, uh, we do work in a variety of different industries from large uh, nonprofits, dental offices, okay. uh, all sorts of things. But our target demographic is usually someone who uh, usually has about 20 to 25 employees okay. uh, to about 200, 250 employees. Mm-hmm. That sweet spot, those businesses uh, that are in that area. Now, it's not to say that we do not um, service, uh, our small, our, our solo entrepreneurs, those individuals, that demographic is very important, but they're probably not running or establishing a network. Right. Uh, but there are three specific things, uh, three specific divisions to our company. We have our development arm where we will, um, build websites. Uh, we will also customize software and implement that software. Oh, let's talk about the software, please. Yeah, definitely. What type of software? So you, you're telling me that you could create a software that's totally revolved around a specific client. Yeah, definitely. So what we'll do is uh, we are a Microsoft partner. So as a result of being a Microsoft partner, um, yeah, our team is definitely equipped to build uh, SharePoint, uh, build out SharePoint applications. So if a particular company, like we had a, a project um, recently with one of our clients, and we were trying to solve the problem of their, uh, they did they wanted to move away from email. Now that organization has relatively move away from email. Yeah, email can be, it's it's a catalyst for what we do, but a lot of companies are trying to move faster. So um, how do we do that? And how do we do that? We can do that with chat. So we build up what we call the ICA or internal communications uh, solution for them. And basically what we did is we built it out in SharePoint and Microsoft Teams. Mm -hmm. And so instead of uh, employees emailing each other, they basically just do full chat. So kind of like being on a social board, similar, where it's like a thread of conversations like like how we would on – Facebook or LinkedIn. Yep, absolutely. Okay, listen, we're going to dive right back into that. I'm loving this conversation. We have to take a quick break. We'll be right back, Detroit. Northland Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram is under new ownership, new management. The new Northland Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram remains a family-owned business and is considered to be the gold standard of auto dealerships. We are 100% committed to customer satisfaction and will do whatever we can to earn and retain your business. We are in the center of the Metro Detroit area, conveniently located on 8 Mile Road in Oak Park. Northland is the first and last place you will need to shop for a new or used car by Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, or Ram. Visit NorthlandChryslerJeepDodge.com or call 248-398-8200 to learn more. Does your health insurance carrier coordinate with your auto insurance carrier? Hi, I'm Stephanie Coney, insurance broker for London Consulting and Insurance Firm. 
Our independent office specializes in both personal and commercial lines insurance. If you're looking for great customer service, then contact me, Stephanie Coney, at the London Consulting Firm today by calling 1-800-651-9142 or visit www.londonconsultingfirm.com. When you're looking for a trusted, professional, and creative team using state-of-the-art technology to capture your precious life moments and events, Choose the second to none company for videography and live multimedia services. One Vision Media Group. Call us today at 1 800 764 3110 or visit our website at onevisionmediagroup.com. That's the number one, visionmediagroup.com. One Vision Media Group. Our focus is on you. <laughs> Hello, Detroit. We are back, and thank you so much for tuning and joining in with us today. I have a very special guest in the studio. Uh, By the way, I'm filling in for William Malcolm, but I have a very special guest in the studio today, and that would be Mr. Seneca D. Brookins, the owner of Jesudo. Uh, A very special guest because... We've been knowing each other a very long time. We went to high school together. And during the break, I was just telling Seneca how very proud I am of him. Because while I know that, you know, he's an entrepreneur and I know he works in IT, I never knew exactly the depth into (laughs) which uh, his business, you know, you know, does. And so I have been educated along with you today, Detroit. And again, I just want to say thank you for being here, Seneca. Thank you for having me. Yes. So once again, um, how can our audience, our listeners contact you if they're interested in getting more information about your IT company? Absolutely. You can go to www.jasudo, just six letters, J-A-S-U-D-O dot com. Uh, You can reach us uh, at 678-587-5884. And that'll be a great source for you to find everything that we do and more. Okay, great. Very good. Now, also, I want to talk a little bit about our history, (laughs) the fact that we are born natives of Detroit, and we are proud graduates of Western High School, which is now Western International High School. And I am so very proud of him. I'm so very, very proud of myself and how we have represented our high school in that community. And and just a tidbit for those, because I know you guys don't know this about me, but I was a foreign exchange student in Mexico, mm-hmm. and so was Seneca. And so that really <laughs> tightened our bond. We were only 17 years old. <laughs> You remember that? So oh, good. absolutely. Great times in Mexico, let me tell you. How the burros used to just walk <laughs> down the street <laughs> and the bats. And, like, we were from the city. We didn't know anything about bats flying around at night. I would call you on those people's phone yes. like, sick, I'm scared. <laughs> there was nothing. I, I know you remember when we used to drink Coke, you know, cut soda in the... Um, sandwich bags because they want to keep the bottle so when you go to the store <laughs> yes i remember that. you go to the store you go to the you pull your coke out of the out of the cooler but they want to keep the bottle so they pour it inside of a sandwich bag and yep. then they take the bottle and, and then you got to hold it and and that was the best Coke I ever had. I don't know about you, probably because the food was, I lost so much weight over there. Those tortas and, and Coca-Cola, that, that was our friend. It and it was. was in the bottle, not plastic. Yeah, you're right. Definitely. <laughs> Original yeah. Coke. So anyway, with all of that being said, since I took it to the beginning, and this was also my prom date, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but since we've taken it to the beginning, um, I remember in high school, you were very busy with working in marketing. Mm -hmm. And so in a sense, you're still marketing. It's just you're marketing your IT product. How did you get to this, Seneca? 
When I was in sixth grade, um, you know, I started dibbling and dabbling in uh, in graphic design. So I sixth grade, sixth grade. So you were yeah, like on the Apple computer. Yeah, I was on an Apple computer uh, back then. I um, was a graphic design layout editor for our school newspaper, and that kind of followed me all the way through to college. Um, after I left, of course, at Western. Um, I wind up becoming the editor in chief of our paper. Right. Uh, but uh, it all started with graphics, mm-hmm. um, and then, um, of course, uh, while throughout all high school, I definitely stayed uh, on top of things with uh, and involved in our computer program. Yep. And then you were doing printing. Remember that? That's right. That's you, right. I remember you were doing letterheads mm-hmm. and. You know what, people? So (laughs) it doesn't happen overnight. These things were put into place. You know, it it started at a young age. Even for myself, like how you said you were editor-in-chief in in our newspaper. Mm -hmm. I was our class vice president. And look at our characters. Mm -hmm. Those um, parts of us, we've carried on with us. So we've been leaders since the beginning. You said sixth grade. Sixth grade. And, uh, you know, my passion for... Uh, you know, IT for what it was back then mm-hmm. is just on 10 when it comes to, to things now. So a lot of the things that I started off doing, teaching myself a lot about computers and all mm-hmm. that thing uh, is how I got my start um, in founding Jesudo, which I founded uh, my company in grad school. So it's safe to say that and this is your passion, and you're operating in what in your talent, your oh, gift. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I, expounding upon it, I love what I do. Um, there's awesome. there's certainly not um, not many me's out there. I, I say because I know both sides of IT, which is uh, our software side, and I also know the hardware side. So in one minute, I'm having meetings throughout my day, uh, from designing and development, building websites, or um, talking SharePoint or that sort of thing, or Salesforce, you know, that sort of development. And then on the other hand, I can go right out of that meeting and I'm talking about, uh, you know, what's going on with the network, mm-hmm. you know, establishing, putting together security protocols, firewalls, that sort of thing. Um, so I run the gambit. And then, you know, of course, computers is a link between all of those things. Yeah. So I'm so proud of you. Yeah. You don't have to outsource anything. You're in house. <laughs> you can do it all. That's awesome. Yeah. That's why one that... stop shop. Once more, one more time. How can they contact you? OK, Definitely. listen, people, he can do it all. <laughs> he just said it. Yeah. And they get it done. Absolutely. Uh, www.jasudo, J-A-S-U-D-O dot com. So where are you located? Uh, we are located in Atlanta, in Sandy Springs, yeah, Atlanta. actually. Yes. Uh, although we operate in four states. so What uh, four states are those? Those are going to be uh, Georgia, Florida, uh, Virginia, and in Michigan. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. So you're able to offer uh, the software and hardware services in all those four states. In all of those four states. Absolutely. So what's next for Jesudo? Uh, the next thing for Jesudo is uh, currently for 2022, we're looking to open up uh, a new location, uh, and that location is pretty much going to be in Atlanta, uh, but that location is going to be more of a retail. Uh, we do have a computer arm. Uh, we are a partner for all the major computer brands, HP, uh, Lenovo, um, Asus, Dell, uh, so we want to have our basically a retail center. We do deal a lot with computers. We do sell computers as well as uh, as, as the third division to our company. So that that new new location, I could go in and browse several different brands, HP, Dell, and say, you know what? I have a question. Can you tell me? Does this do this? Does this? Do that? And 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 it not be online. I can actually touch and see if this is you know the right weight or size that I'm looking for. Absolutely. Um, ideally, those locations will be will offer a full line of those products. So you'll be able to go in and purchase those products. And mm-hmm. then you'll also be able to come in and 
service your existing computer so if you're looking to or get a computer repaired we can definitely get that repaired for you mm -hmm. uh, if you're looking to retrieve data off of that computer we can definitely do data recovery what about the remote service like if I purchase a computer from you and I'm having trouble with my email at home would you guys is that a service that would come if I go into that location absolutely and that will actually be our sweet spot right so uh, one of the things that will make us uh, you know that that value add for us is that when you purchase your computer from us, you mm -hmm. would be able to get that actually ongoing service. So even though you're not a, a large company uh, at that point, okay. you may just be an entrepreneur, but you okay. still need service. Yes. Yeah, you definitely will be able to do the same thing. We would. Uh, it's a subscription-based service, essentially. So you'll be able to reach us by ticket 24 hours a day. Give us a phone and our technician. 24 hours a day. Yes, 24 hours okay. a day. Okay, just yeah. want to make sure that Absolutely. our people heard that. Awesome. Seneca, are you hiring? Currently, yes. Um, okay. Yeah, so I have a position that I'm looking for for a project assistant. And pretty much for the most part, uh, the project assistant is on our development side of the business. So, Okay. Give uh, that information out. We're wrapping up. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, like I said, you can reach us at www.jasudo.com. That's 678-587-5884. And... Uh, Definitely reach out to me and uh, let's talk. Thank you so much, Seneca Brookins. And thank you, Detroit, for tuning in to the William Malcolm Show. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Show. Sponsored by William Malcolm Lux.